Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Today we're going to take a look at how to create the iconic Green Lantern character. Uh, basically, it's, it is something that comes back from time to time. Players, when they create a new character, want to be able to play their favorite character right as they start playing. So they'll, they'll create their character and then they'll want to be able to play as Batman, as Superman, as Green Lantern, just as they're starting to play. And sadly, that is not how the game was made. Uh, the game was made in order to allow you to create your own character and originally it pretty much was discouraging you from creating iconic characters uh, originally when DC Universe w Online was first launched creating iconic characters was a little difficult a lot of things were missing to allow you to be able to do so uh, you, you didn't have access to Green Lantern emblems you didn't have access to Green Lantern auras and even originally the, the Green Lantern power wasn't available but it was added a bit later but basically, uh, the, w the, game, the, the way the game was made, uh, it was made so that you had two options to create your character. First, at character creation, you had a limited option of style to be able to create your character. Although, even at character creation, you can sort of do a, a pretty good job customizing your character. But then the second step of customizing your character is to gather styles. Ba basically, you have to play missions, and as you play missions, you gather new styles, and those new styles allow you to customize your character. So trying to, to create your favorite iconic characters just at character creation, uh, usually that is not an option. So what I will do is that I will show you how to create your iconic favorite characters as quickly as possible. I will not show every options or every alternatives. Uh, I will show pretty much one way, one or two ways to do this. And from there on, uh, once you once you learn about how the, the customization system actually works in this universe online, you should be able then to, from what I show you, customize your character even a bit further if you decide to. So let's get started. Before we get started, just to be on the safe side, uh, let's take a look at uh, something. Uh, obviously, you're going to want to choose the light powers for your character. Uh, for the loadout, uh, I will make a, I will make a Green Lantern loadout at some point. For your Green Lantern, you can pretty much use any any powers you like. Uh, that's that's what I would suggest uh, when you get started. And for the weapon, uh, I would strongly suggest going with end blasters. Uh, the game usually, if you there is a template that you can use at when you start the game for the Green Lantern character, it's pretty much a John Stewart template. But the character uses uh, in the template uses uh, brawling. Personally, I prefer to go with end blasters, but it's a it's a personal thing. So obviously, personally, I go with flight. I go with end blasters, and obviously you want to go with the Green Lantern powers. I wouldn't have mentioned it, but uh, just to be sure, uh, this is for new players. It may not be uh, that obvious for new players. At character creation, this is about as close to creating Green Lantern as you can get. Uh, it's pretty darn close. All you're really missing at that point is an emblem. Uh, sure, there's a few it's off a little bit because it's not exactly a Green Lantern set of gear, but it, at character creation, again, this is about as close as you can get. I will go through all the styles that you need to choose from to create this look at character creation, and then afterwards, I will show you how to be able to customize your Green Lantern character a little bit more. So let's get started. For the hairstyle, go f with the Rock 4 hairstyle. Uh, there's probably a few other options that you, you can go for, but basically to recreate the look that you're seeing right now, this is the Rock Ford Air style. For the headpieces, you select none, so that way your character doesn't have a headpiece uh, on his uh, to, to cover his, his nice hair looking hair. For the face piece, the half domino is the way to go. It's pretty much as close as you can get to an official uh, Green Lantern mask. Uh, for the accessory and the shoulders, at, at when you start the game, you don't have any of those. For the emblem, any round emblem will do at first. Per personally, I go with the swirling uh, fireball. I've seen people who go for the moon emblem. Uh, if you really want to, you could decide to put it all white and pretend that you're an, uh, 
a, a fresh new recruit to the Green Lantern Corps and you didn't get your emblem just yet? Uh, some people will do that sometimes. For the hands, uh, the Trim Classic usually does the trick. There is uh, quite a few other gloves you could uh, decide to choose. So you can decide to choose any gloves you want at first. Personally, I have a tendency to go for the Trim Classic. For the waist, for this character, you don't, you don't need any waist because of the way the style is actually made. For the feet, again, the tall classic uh, boots is usually what I go for. But again, you could decide to go with uh, other boots if you prefer. The chest piece, I usually go with the streak slimline. It allows me to sort of recreate the look that the Green Lantern is supposed to have. And the pants that usually matches with that are the tertiary slimline. So again, you can see the pants really match well with the, 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 the top piece. So at character creation, this is about as close as you can get to creating your friend Green Lantern. So at that point, you're only missing two things to create your perfect Green Lantern if you really want to. The first thing is the Green Lantern aura. So if we go into accessory, if you go into the green aura, we have a really nice green aura for our Green Lantern character. And for the emblem, there is a Green Lantern emblem. Make sure that you go for the Green Lantern core emblem, not the Green Lantern Alan Scott emblem. Uh, it, 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 there's quite a difference between the two, as you can see. So what you want is the Green Lantern core emblem. So let's uh, select that. So it didn't take all that much to be able to get our nice looking Green Lantern character. And where can you get the Green Lantern emblem and the Green Lantern aura? Uh, let's take a look. The easiest way is to get it from the broker. Uh, for the Green Lantern emblem, the Green Lantern emblem originally comes from the, the very first time capsule we got in the game. So let's look on the broker. The better option would be to purchase the Green Lantern Core Emblem. Uh, sadly, as you can see, the Green Lantern Core Emblem is four millions on the broker. Uh, four millions is not that difficult to get. Uh, sadly, in order to be able to purchase the, the Green Lantern Core Emblem, you pretty much have to be a legendary player. So in order to be able to use a broker to gather four millions and to purchase the emblem for four millions, you pretty much have to be a legendary player. And this is the price on US PS4. Uh, the price would be the same also on US PC. If you're playing on Xbox, the price will be different. If you're playing on the European servers, the price will be different. And even if you play on US PS P PS4 or US PC, the price will be different because the prices on the broker changes all the time. So right now, as I'm looking at the price, it is 4 million. But the price will change as time goes by. So uh, again, if you go to the broker, if you go to styles, and then if you look for Green Lantern, you should see the Green Lantern core emblem. If for some reason you don't see the Green Lantern core emblem, it's quite simply because the emblem is not available at this moment. And also you can see the enhanced Green Lantern emblem. Sadly, this is the Alan Scott version of the emblem. So again, if we take a look, you can see that it is not the Green Lantern core emblem. It is the Alan Scott emblem. So make sure you don't you don't make a mistake when you actually purchase the emblem. Make sure that you do purchase the Green Lantern Core emblem. And for the Green Lantern aura, uh, let's go into accessory. And let's just look for green. So as you can see right now, the green aura goes for $375,000 on the broker. Again, this is the price right now. The prices changes all the time. But if you want to have that aura from the broker, that's how much you're gonna, you're gonna have to spend at this moment. Again, if you go back and the prices are different, that's normal. The prices on the broker changes all the time. There are various other green uh, auras that you could get, but uh, as you can see, some of them are a lot more expensive.
And there's the slim uh, green aura, which well, we barely can see. So this is one way to get the Green Lantern aura. The other way to get the aura would be using the marketplace. So if we go into the marketplace, if we go down, and there's a bit of lag, sadly, it happens. So if we go to style items, we should have auras somewhere down there. So you can see here the green aura. As you can see, I've already purchased it. It's the very same thing that I'm using right now. If for some reason you want to go with the slim green, green aura, uh, you can do so. But as you can see, we can barely see the aura, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for that. But there are people who actually prefer the slim, the, the slim green aura. So you can see the difference in prices. Uh, the, the slim auras are 450 marketplace cash, as opposed to the white aura, which is like the 270, and uh, the, the green aura was uh, pretty much the same price. Like basically, the, the the regular auras are 270 marketplace cash, and the slim versions are 450 marketplace cash. Uh, if you're playing on PC, it's going to be station cash, and also uh, 450. That's uh, 450 or 270. That's if you're a legendary player. If you're a member, uh, if you're not a member, add 10% to the price. The reason for that is quite simple. Uh, if you're a legendary player, yeah, you get a 10% discount on the marketplace items. And again, of course, you could wait for the, the aura to be on sale. So you could you could probably get it for even uh, cheaper if you wait for, for a sale uh, on the marketplace. If you play on PS4, on PS4, there is a little thing that is called loyalty points that you can get. Uh, pretty much every month you get 500 loyalty points. Why do you get that on PS4 and not on PC, for example? The reason is quite simple, is that on PC they get 500 station cash every month. For PS4, sadly, there's some issue with uh, PSN, where uh, the, the game cannot just give us 500 market cash. So the solution they found was to give us 500 loyalty points, but for that you have to be a member, so you have to be a subscriber. So if you're a subscriber, every month you get 500 loyalty points and you have the loyalty vendor here. Basically, the loyalty vendor has the very same thing that you have on the, the marketplace. So if you really wanted, you could purchase the green aura from here using your loyalty points. Thought it would be a good idea to mention this uh, so that you know. So this is pretty much the, the first option you have that you can do pretty much uh, as soon as you create your character. So as soon as you, you exit the Brainiac ship, uh, as soon as your character is level 4, if you really wanted to, you could get that emblem and you could get that aura. Either by playing the broker and purchasing it on the broker, or uh, for the aura by purchasing it on the marketplace. I will show you another way that you can get the Green Lantern emblem without buying it from the broker. The other option to be able to get the Green Lantern Emblem is to get the chest piece, the Scion of Iron. So you can see the Scion of Iron. It's a tier 5 chest piece. So basically you're going to have to win until your combat rating uh, 80 something in order to be able to purchase that, that chest piece. I will show you where to purchase it in just a second. And also, the good thing about the Scion of Iron is that not only do you have a chest piece, you also have a nice back piece with a nice looking Green Lantern emblem. Everything else is the same as what I had from character creation. The only distinction in this case is the chest piece. So let's go and take a look at where you can purchase that chest piece. I will show you how to get to the vendor from the point where you spawn in the watchtower because I know from experience that a lot of new players still get lost in the watchtower. So just follow my character and we're going to go to Mogo. So the vendor for the Green Lantern set of gear is in Mogo. There is a full set of gear that you can purchase in Mogo. So let's take a quick look. So let's continue. If you've never been to Mogo, it's a pretty pretty nice looking map. 
with a whole bunch of Green Lantern, uh, Green Lantern themed uh, items. And of course, a whole bunch of Green Lanterns, as you can see. So you can see here the Green Lantern supply officer is the one who's going to be uh, to be able to sell you the Green Lantern set of gear. And he, be careful, he is selling more than one set of gear. Basically, he's selling the Shepherds of Adara uh, set of gear, which is a Blue Lantern set of gear. So if you were wondering where to get the Blue Lantern set of gear, now you know. So for the Green Lantern set of gear, you have to go down all the way until you reach the Scion of Ion set of gear. And again, you have to be a bit careful because there is a DPS set of gear. And if you scroll a bit down, and of course you're playing as a controller, then you're going to want a to want a you're going to want a controller set of gear. Uh, usually controller set of gear has more dominance and more vitalization. So again, if we look at the chest piece, the chest piece is 60 marks of victory. And the back piece is 40 marks of victory. So in order to be able to purchase the chest piece and the back piece, it will require roughly 100 marks of victory. But in order to gain access to Mogo, you need to be, I believe you need to be combat rating 84 just to have access to the map and also to be able to purchase the gear from the, from, uh, from the vendor, you're, you're going to have to be combat rating 84. So again, that is uh, one way that you can get a nice Green Lantern emblem and also a nice Green Lantern back piece. Uh, the drawback though is that you have to wait until your character is tier 5. So you have to wait until your combat rating 84 before you can even purchase the gear. So that is pretty much how you can create a pretty nice iconic Al Jordan character. And again, you can tweak it a bit. Like you can see, I, I've added the, the back piece with the Green Lantern emblem. So either you use the Green Lantern emblem that you can get from the broker, or you can use the Green Lantern emblem that you can get from the tier five set of gear. So if you really want to have a nice aura, I would strongly suggest buy it from the broker. It's probably the better option. If you really don't want to wait and you want it right now, then you could purchase it from the, the marketplace. So that's pretty much it for how to create the iconic Green Lantern character. Uh, I could probably have included uh, Alan Scott in the video, but uh, I, will, I will make a separate video for Alan Scott uh, in order to try to keep things simple and to keep the video from being uh, too long or too bloated. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. Uh, so again, I will make uh, other iconic uh, characters in the future, but I, um, I started with uh, the iconic Green Lantern. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.